everyone, welcome to another episode where I'll be showing you five Alan Class comics. I was going to try and get this episode out last, tail end of last week, sort of Thursday, Friday-ish, but uh, I got I got ill, I got a lurgy, and I've spent the entire weekend horizontal, um, straddling that fine line between limbo and being conscious. So I'm still not great now, but um, you know, you deserve a video. So here we go, Alan Class collectors, comic book fans, Golden Age, Re Atlas Age, and Golden Age reprint fans. Five Secrets of the Unknown. Just bear with me a tick. Customers. This is Secrets of the Unknown, number 134. Post decimal, so it's in the early 80s. But uh, you can't beat a massive dragonfly bug facing off a tank can you that is just great incredible picture so what have we got in here we well for one thing we have a decades old back cover bend let me just re-correct that right that's sorted what have we got in here We have a hidden Fantastic Four story. Wow. Hang on. Let me... I used to think it's a Fantastic Four story. It could be an Avengers story at this point. Uh, it could be an X-Men story. It could even be a Daredevil story. Well, that is a nice surprise. And that's what I live for. It is the complete story, I think. Uh, it is an, an FF one. It is... Bedlam at the Baxter Building. What a lovely surprise that is. Let's just get to a really nice pick. Now oh, you've even got this one of the scrolls. I mean, look at that. Wonderful. So nice to find. And the Super Adaptoid and Kang. It's the wedding bell issue. It's the wedding issue, isn't it? And what else have we here? A Kirby and Ayers story from somewhere. I can't. I can't place it. This is the madness. If you know where that comes from, then please pop a comment in the comments. Lovely. Nice. All right, before I move on to the next issue, um, I have been upgrading my man cave. Of course, I've been crying out for room for uh, such a long time, and I've done that now. And uh, I'm going to pop a picture right about now. And it's the right hand side of the room, that's the new cabinets. And on the top you'll see all the Alan Class issues that I've shown on this channel. I think it's just out of focus on the left hand side are all the Alan Class comics I've got to show still, which is about half again approximately. But um, yep, I hope you appreciate that. It's really nice looking cabinets. And it's made the room a little bit more special. It's, it gave me lots of elbow room to put Marvel Masterworks and Omnibus, Omnibuses, Omnibuy uh, in their place. So, excellent. Right, here's another favorite one of mine. Secrets of the Unknown, number 148. While the city slumbers, what lurks in wait underground? Beautiful. Can't imagine there'll be any hidden gems in here, but hey, surprise me in the last issue. We've got a story here from Journey into Mystery. Sorry if I'm not normally as zingy as you'd expect me to be, but uh, still feel a little bit under par. 
another journey into mystery. Superb. And yet another journey into mystery. So it looks like the entire book and an, another one. A fourth journey into mystery. So it's comprised full of journey into mystery stories taken from wherever. All over the place. Lovely. Not bad, but again, it's the cover that sells it to me. It's a cover you don't see that often as well. And the third issue is Secrets of the Unknown, number 177. And this freaky little guy has popped up in uh, quite a few issues. This is Mr. L. Dead inviting you to another jaunt through the haunted house where you'll hear about the night old Sam died, suffer under the curse of Husfat, and meet the man who summoned the dead. Okay, well, I'm buying that. What else have we got here? Oh, well, we've got some Irish tropes here. Paddy and his leprechauns. Okay. That's some really nice artwork there. The Curse of Husfat. But on the hunt for hidden gems. Nope, I don't think there is any. Afraid not. But again, it's the cover that sells me. Moving on swiftly to Secrets of the Unknown, number 179. Just a couple of months away from the previous issue. It was only a simple piece of rope, or was it? Unknown worlds, stories. Astonishing. More astonishing. More astonishing. Okay, you can recognize that. Again, another astonishing. Another astonishing. And another astonishing. Just makes me wonder, uh, back in the day, when Alan Class was preparing his the next three issues down the line, he'd probably be saying to himself, what shall I do now? So I've got a load of astonishing files, I'll just grab them up and we'll make them for the next next three issues. Nice, what was scrubbed out there? Makes you wonder, what was deleted there? I thought it might be the uh, price marker, but it's clearly there. Hmm. And this is number 201 of Secrets of the Unknown. Again, it's the big and little juxtaposition. Different. Not sure whether I like the green background. But hey ho. We're coming to the end of the run. You've got a Thunder Agent story in the back of it. Lightning. Novel tales, nothing ever changes. A little bit of prose. Some unknown story. Okay, the legend of the black gondola. Okay, pretty much an unremarkable issue. Not a bad cover. I'm not sure of that green though. Oops, that's a bit of a cover rip there. Right. Just carefully. Carefully, carefully seal that. Right, well thanks for joining in. I'm watching this video of me being slightly subpar health-wise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll try and get another video out at the tail end of this week. 
and um, have a great week everyone send hugs love and sympathy my way and um, yeah some sort of subscription to a uh, alcohol based beverage to tide me over sort of one tin of something nice per week or per month for a year that would be great I'd really enjoy that right everyone take good care of yourselves don't be naughty and I'll see you next time same place bye for now